Hello there guys, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to send a mail in Visual Basic. Right, let's start. Name your project whatever you want to. I'm just gonna name my email sender. Alright, in this in this project we'll only send email. We're not gonna add a lot of text box where people can add information about themselves. This is going to be only for you. So all the information is in the source code. Alright. First of all, above this public class, we'll write imports system dot net dot mail. Right down here, we'll write dim mail as new mail message mail dot subject equals whatever you want your subject to be. I'm just going to name my YouTube tutorial test. Right under that you write mail to dot add in quotes and parentheses. You don't want to write your whoever you want the email to be sent to. I'm just going to take my own email so you guys can see it works after. Alright, now that you write mail dot from uh, equals new mail address. Alright, and this should be your own email address. And since I'm going to mail it to myself, I'm just going to gmail dot com, which is my own email. Alright, mail dot body equals, and in quotes, you write whatever you want the text to be in the email. I'm just going to write. This is for my awesome YouTube tutorial. Alright, down here you write dim S SMTP as new SMTP client masters client. Right. Awesome. And in quotes and parentheses you write S SMTP dot Gmail dot com and the reason I'm writing this is because this is my SMT server for Gmail. If you don't know whatever you want. If you don't know the SMT server for your email, just Google it. Alright, down on the SMTP dot enable SSL SS one, sorry. Equals true. Around that SMTP dot credentials equals new system dot net dot net work credential and in quotes and parentheses in the first and oh sorry and between the two passive quotes you want a comma sorry my computer's lagging Right, the first quotes you write, your whatever your username is for your or your email account. I'm just gonna write Gary's Tets Gmail dot com. And in next parentheses you write your password. And since I'm not gonna show you guys my password, I'm just gonna write. Uh, let's just call it password. Right under that you write. SMTP dot port equals whatever the SMTP port of is of your email client and uh, Gmail is five eight seven and underneath you write that SMTP dot send and in parentheses you write mail like that all right so for some explanation imports system dot mail up here in the top just means that we import the um, all of these commands that subject that to add that from that SMT client, client network credential and all those. Alright, dim mail as new mail message just means that we rename this new mail message to mail so it's easier down here. Instead of just writing new mail message dot subject, we'll only write mail. So mail dot subject is the subject, of course. For your email, mail to add is who you are sending the email to mail.from 
equals new mail address is who you're sending the email from your own email address of course and mail that party is uh, the text in the email All right. uh, down here we do it again we rename the new smtp client smtp.gmail.com we rename that to smtp so we don't have to write all that down here alright here enable SSL I don't, unfortunately I don't even mean, know what that means but it has to be there and smtp the credentials I don't know what that means either but I'm guessing it's something to do with the username and the password alright under that we have the smtp.port and that of course is the what the fuck is really and that of course is the um, the port from your smtp client wherever you are hosting email and smtp.send you just execute this mail command up here alright before we test it I'm gonna have to stop the email so I can change this oh sorry stop the email gosh stop the tutorial so I can change this password to my own password alright I did that now let's debug it so I click this button and mail should appear in my mailbox and I'm guessing it did so let's open it right here see inbox nothing happened try again F5 yeah here it is great alright that's it for this time next time we're gonna make a bit, little bit more complicated one where people can actually write in their their own information so it, it's not all in the source code Jesus, I just threw you my cup. Oh, what the hell? Bye.